Welcome to Serenity Productions. General, what are you doing in my tent? At this hour, no less. Someone could have seen you. Well, yes, but I do think the others would question you coming into my tent so late. Even if you did use the excuse that you wanted to check up on me. So why are you in my tent so late? A present? At this time? General, where did you find the time to find a present, even? We've been on the road for the last couple of days now. And why could you not give it to me at dinner? Well, that is true. If the others would have seen, it would have been bad. But honestly, you thought that sneaking into my tent at such a late hour was a better plan. What if the captain is still awake? And how exactly do you know that? <gasps> you did not. <laughs> General, I think it is very bad practice to give the captain a sleeping drow with his wine. What if bandits came onto our camp? We'll need him to fight. Even if we do have the rune shields up, it's still not good practice. <laughs> I shouldn't have to be telling a brilliant tactician this. I, I am not smiling, I am scolding you. You, who are a general, and like I said, should know better. <laughs> Stop that. <laughs> Stop greeting like a child that just stole the last treat from the kitchen. <sighs> I did not know that dragons had such a mischievous streak to them. <laughs> All right. Then what is it? What is my present? You cannot tease me with it after telling me that you got me something, so let me see it. Please. <laughs> oh, General. It is beautiful. Where did you find this? I thought these stones were only available on the coast. I have only ever heard of the Gorgons being able to access these. We ran into a traitor? When? I did not know otherwise I would have told the captain to stop so he could pick up a few more supplies before we reached the Wiccans. Well, if you spotted him while you were flying, why did you not tell us? Right. The captain has us on a strict schedule right now. I do not think he would let us deviate for even a moment if it were meant we were not going to reach our destination at the exact time. Hm. Well, in any case, thank you. I have never seen one of these up close. They're supposed to have incredible magical qualities. Though I've never tested it out myself. The Gorgons don't exactly take kindly to outsiders. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's because they don't like outsiders or... They do not want to turn others to stone. If it is the latter reason, then... 
I do not blame them for their self-isolation. They are not monsters, General. Just poor souls that cannot control their nature. That is all. You know, many people see dragons as monsters because of their fire and brute power. But you are not. You are just what your nature created you to be. So do not be so quick with your judgments with those that are blessed with powers others would perceive as a curse. <laughs> Thank you for your present. It was very thoughtful of you. How sweet to know that you think of me often. <laughs> I think that is one of the points of gifting during courtship. To prove to the person that you are courting that you are constantly thinking of them. It is sweet. If not just a little intimidating. <laughs> General. You know I was merely jesting about the presence, correct? You do not have to get me that many, just... I've never really been courted before. The commander? <laughs> no. <laughs> My brothers were just going to set up the wedding. No courting needed. They did not think it would have been necessary, as we had known each other for such a long time. This is the first time anyone has ever truly courted me. I don't know how this truly works. <laughs> if I can be honest with you, I'm actually a little scared. Yes. <laughs> Just a bit, though. Well, I'm scared about what I'm supposed to do. I know the suitor is supposed to present gifts. But what am I supposed to do on my side of things? Surely this seems very one-sided. You give me things? I accept them, and is that it? Is there anything I could give you, General, in return? Why are you laughing? Well, I do not know if the word adorable is the one I would use to describe me. I would think thoughtful, clever, considerate. Maybe beautiful, yes. I've never seen myself as beautiful, General. Well, even by Nephilim standards, I look very odd. My skin looks like patchwork, and my hair is a muted color, and I'm not exactly the most graceful being on the plane. General? What do you see? How is it that I've only known you such a short time in our long lives? And yet I feel like I could trust you with anything. That I can believe 
everything and anything you tell me. Maybe that scares me too. Oh, wait, General. Uh, I'm sorry, just... Uh, no, you're gonna think this is silly. I promise you will not laugh. I've never kissed someone before. Yes, you would be my first. Uh, well, do not act like I have the plague now. You were just about to kiss me a moment ago. Yes, the plague. You pulled away so suddenly. What else am I supposed to think? Is it really such a bad thing that I've never been kissed before? Oh. <laughs> and, um... How would you make my first kiss special, General? Is it not just a kiss? <laughs> I have seen plenty of others kiss all the time. It does not look like something of much significance. Oh. I guess it would be if it was between two people that wanted it bad enough. How is it that you make me more excited every time you speak about our future? Together? <laughs> I have never looked forward to the future much before you. And now... Well, now the future does not seem like it could come soon enough. It seems like an amazing place that I just want to be in already. <laughs> well then, I shall wait with bated breath. And hope that you do not take too long to figure out when the tight time is. <laughs> it is late. If someone catches you, we could both be in trouble. General, will you ride in the carriage with me tomorrow? Please. I wish to spend more time with you. In fact, I want to spend all my time with you. <laughs> Was that too corny? Thank you. Good night, General. Try not to get caught. Nephilim have very good resistance to potions. The captain might be up by now. 